A Gonzaga priest and professor under investigation for possessing child porn. A federal search warrant shows that the apartment of Father Gary Ulincott was raided in mid-April. Agents were working on suspicion that he had child pornography. And KXY 4's Ian Cole has the details live tonight from Gonzaga. Ian? And Indian students say he's simply known as Father Gary. He teaches one of the most popular camp, uh, classes on campus, music and film and television, but his 25-year career as a priest may be heavily tarnished if federal prosecutors decide to charge him with possession of child pornography. Newly unsealed federal search warrant documents unveil a lengthy trail that leads to an investigation of a Jesuit priest at Gonzaga. In 2010, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service started tracking a Toronto, Canada company that distributed child pornography online and through the mail. In 2011, they raided a shipping facility the company owned in New York and found hundreds of DVDs and photos involving naked boys. Investigators also found customer order histories, including receipts and credit card information from Father Gary Ulincott. Inspectors say he ordered more than $1,600 of DVDs and streamable videos online containing child porn over two years. And on April 15th, they raided Ulincott's apartment at the Corkery Apartment Complex, where he was the resident chaplain. It left students on campus confused. I don't know how you could kind of keep that under wraps for so long. Definitely reflects negatively on the university, which is too bad because it's a great community here. According to the search warrant, investigators seized two laptops, an iPod and an iPad, as well as hard drives and other evidence from Ulincott's apartment. The U.S. District Attorney's Office declined to comment on the ongoing investigation, but in that same search warrant, inspectors say sifting through computer evidence can be lengthy. So while no charges have been filed yet and Ulincott has not been arrested, possession of child pornography charges could be on the way. The search warrant also says that Ulincott uh, allegedly used his faculty address to receive those packages and used his faculty email address on the order confirmations. Uh, the university uh, released a statement today saying that they would not comment on the investigation, but they were deeply concerned after reading the details of this search warrant. Reporting live at Gonzaga, Ian Cole, KXOY4 News.